All right, guys, welcome to Friday, May 8th, the last workout of the week that we have for you, anyway. Um, here's what you guys will be up to today. We've got Aussie Saucy, the reason why it's called that. I got it from Tia Tumi, so being Australian, it's going to be a little saucy because there's lots of burpees. That's why it's called Aussie Saucy. All right, seven minutes. You'll be doing 50 double unders, 15 burpees. All right, so as many rounds and reps as possible in seven minutes of those two movements. I suggest if you are not proficient with double unders, you make that number something a little more achievable, something like 30. You aren't looking to break that up into multiple sets every time you get there. Looking to pretty well just be unbroken. Every time you pick up the rope, you do your double unders, you set them down, you do your burpees, you're constantly moving for seven minutes. Try to pace yourself so that is what's happening. Breathing is going to be the thing that you need to focus on throughout this workout because that is the thing that once it leaves, everything else will go to chaos and it'll, just, it'll fall apart. All right? After the first AMRAP, you've done seven minutes of that. You're just going to rest three minutes before you boot that clock back up for another seven minutes. And this time the couplet is double unders and push ups. I got 25 push ups for men, 20 push ups for women. All right? Make sure that you guys, again, are trying to be smart about the way you're scaling, especially in push ups. You shouldn't be doing one at a time at any point in time. I would say five or more. Scale if it's not, if you're unable to achieve five reps at a time. Um, and then also when it comes to push-ups, when I say five at a time, I'm not talking five and then rest 30 seconds. I'm talking like five, quick shake out, right back into another five. All right, so that's how you should be looking at the scale. Again, double under scale appropriately for that. You can also use single unders or line hops for that. Um, if you struggle with double unders, there's usually an element that you need to work on of them, whether it might be the ability to jump high enough, whether it might be the ability to swing the rope, and whether it might just be the ability to have rhythm. You can choose a scale that works on any one of those things, it's fine. If you're working on, sing on jumping, you do a single leg jump, or jump to a height but you're not allowed to bend your knees, so straight leg jumping. Um, and then if you're working on your rhythm, you probably want to set like a metronome if you can, or you can uh, kind of count out loud to yourself, kind of to a beat, something along that, those sort of lines where you're just trying to find your rhythm with everything. And you can even turn that into penguin uh, taps or whatever we call those, where you tap your thighs twice while you're in the air, or even just once to kind of work on developing that rhythm, right? But basically you're just being a drummer and using your whole body. So. Something to consider for those two, if you're lacking the ability to turn over the rope, that's actually a really tough skill to work on. You just have to work on double unders. You have to work in the realm of success though. Don't, don't stretch outside of that. So if you're the type of person who picks up your jump rope and is like, we'll see how many I get today, and you just max effort and it's seven, and then the next time it's two, and then the next time it's, you know, if you're really inconsistent like that, you need to find the number that you can be consistent at and find your success in that consistent number and then move on from there. All right, that's going to be the double unders today. So here's what we got for warm up. We go three rounds, 10 calf raises just on the floor. We're not going to go to any depths or anything like that. And then you go five yoga push ups, five skater jumps per side. Then you go into the build. The build today is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of hollow rocks. Every, after every set of hollow rocks, you'll be doing 10 plank rows. So using anything that's gonna add weight to that movement, whether it be dumbbell, kettlebell, um, backpack, whatever you can find to add some weight to that, you just do plank rows. So you're in a plank position, you row, that's it. All right, uh, 10 reps on each side, you're working on developing that lat from a functional, functionally loaded position. And then you go into Aussie Saucy, finish the day with a cool down, which is two rounds, 30 second seal, 30 second per side of the calf stretch, and a 30 second prayer. This is all to start bringing things back to normal. We worked on our core a significant amount, so we go into seal so that we could try to extend those muscles a little bit and let them try to recover from that. Then we go into the calf stretch, which is from all the repetitive jumping, especially between burpees and jump roping. There's jumping in both of those things. So you want to get that calf stretch to kind of release some tension in the calf um, so that you guys can start your recovery process there. And then the prayer position is for those shoulders, the pecs, and any of the upper body that's feeling tight around the shoulder. Right? It should just feel good, give you time to focus on your breathing 
and bring yourself back down and ready to recover through the weekend. Come back Monday, super duper crazy strong. If you guys have any questions, ask.